Isaiah. I'm reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. One of the people who you know mutually with your divine masculine who you've lost touch with people who seemed neutral at the time um so not quite karmic energies but their group of friends maybe they are karmic but uh the, the kind of group of friends that might have been kind of fooled by uh secrets or karmic energies that your person chose in, instead of you like what are their impression of the situation now i've got three of wands so this is about waiting for making plans and waiting for something to come in or traveling feels like a a cycle is over and this also has to do with um, planning, patience and planning. Problem is, there's some sort of big awakening or uh, surprise. This whole thing seems to be, uh, there was either a secret that is now revealed or this person this karmic energy is uh this seems feels like like the tower like an exposure like a revelation about a faulty foundation because of a high priestess in the reverse someone who was very secretive potentially um does things that are you know dark dark energy manipulation and um definitely secretive uh shadowy um kind of fake spiritual person so it could either be secrets that are revealed things that were hidden kind of coming out right now um, with this tower here um just a huge huge revelation about a faulty foundation um because of this high priestess the other interpretation right now could be a tower because there was a another woman here or there's somebody else who um this divine feminine is a high priestess or has high priestess energy very tuned in intuitive um and because this person was sort of kept secret um that is now being exposed so there's some surprise and there's like a for people who are looking at the situation it's like this cycle is over there's a cycle a phase that's over that has to do with planning and all the planning all the plans are are done there's there's the cycle is finished and it's kind of a really big surprise for for this kind of outer circle or circle of friends and they're so conscious they might feel like there's some player energy here or like somebody wasn't serious and that that's the problem this fell on the floor and then this landed on the table so eight of wands this feels like news or information a message or something that happened really quickly and um that is that this was a, a very unhappy situation, no joy, with like just a lot of bad karma. It's almost like it all kind of fell apart or there was news about it really quickly.
where do you think that this is going to go? Where do you think this is going to go? Generally, it's the general consensus with this group. To me, this feels like a rejection. It feels like everyone's sort of unhappy. Uh, there, are, there might be people who feel like they're they're going to be left out because of a split. In the near future, we have Evolution, which is a card that is just specific to this deck. So this feels to me like um, just on the other side of the death card. So it feels like a resurrection or a rebirth. It feels like death and judgment together. There's sort of like an awakening, but it's like something that was maybe considered that wasn't looked at. Um, in, in, in a particular way that was, was hidden, that people see, see the pieces coming together and can see the beauty of this, of this shift and why it is that this all took place. Or, um, in some cases this can also be, you know, freedom and, and beauty connected to you. in some cases, revisiting you and the things that were hidden from them that they can see very clearly. And this feels like all the pieces coming together for everyone in a lot of ways. None of them really know what to do. They don't feel like, they feel kind of powerless, like there aren't really any moves that they can make. It feels like the masculine energy could be very uh, head over heart right now, very logical, all about justice, being very um, intellectual. This could also be someone like a, a judge or a lawyer or even a policeman who is kind of in the mix here if this is one of the situations where things got really extreme. What they're hoping for or afraid of kind of afraid of having to go back to the the drawing board and also any of them that feel like they contributed to any sort of injustice that they are also going to have to deal with the ramifications of that that their lives are now going to also reflect the seeds that they planted. Anything that they put into, um, the energy that they put into a corrupt situation, they are now going to have to also contend with. So they're kind of afraid of that. And also, it just feels like wasted energy and wasted time. where they might have invested even like friendships or time or energy into creating a, a solid relationship with a couple where now there's a big, big revelation. We got for the outcome, Two of Cups, the Moon, and Ace of Coins. So I think for people, a lot of them don't know exactly what's going on. And for them, things are going to feel kind of hidden. 
but it feels like this is definitely some sort of soulmate connection, uh, true love that kind of emerges with this ace of coins, some sort of like evidence um, where it feels like your relationship comes into their, their awareness. This could also be some sort of like blessing or something that comes along with a union that people missed before if they were unsupportive of your of your union and things could start to flow and they might not understand it or understand how it is especially if these were um, people that were more concerned with like appearances and clout and maybe kind of voted against you for some reason um, or were kind of fooled by smoke and mirrors this just feels like a big blessing coming connected to this union that really makes people feel um, like they have a little bit less control over life than they thought they did as well. And I think that it almost, it, it could actually come across a little spooky to people on the outside, your connection. There might be something about it that other people see that you might not see when you're with your person. So for the ones where this resonates and it feels like union is, is coming or some sort of partnership, then um, that's, that's the outcome. That's the perspective of the people who are in your person's circle. Hope that helps. Bye. Actually, I think one thing that we need to do is look and see why it is that this high priestess is, why is it a tower for them? Is it that it's a secret or... Maybe that there's a woman in the background. Let's see, let's see. Or that your person never really let you go. Let's see. Why is this? It's just a shock. It could be that your person has had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and are uh, telling people that they plan on contacting you with this coming forward, planning on communicating heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They could be communicating with people about the secret. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Is this the Divine Feminine that's been kind of... Like they're saying that it was wrong timing before. They're saying that they are missing you and desiring a connection with you. Okay. Yeah, they want to take... They want to take a leap of faith towards you. So, so that's why, that's why it's a tower. It is you. And it was kind of hidden and secret. So now these, this circle of friends are in shock. It's like a really big revelation from them, for them, because it's been just kept hidden. Yeah, with the lovers here, a choice in love. The person's making a choice in love. They might have even said something about this karmic energy, just the constant fighting and abuse and all of these things could be com coming out as well. Trying to win at all costs, trying to thwart your career or your goals and aims or trying to stop 
you know, just gossiping about you and trying to make your life tough in general, or um, just this energy in in their relationship. This could be also part of the tower as well. Yeah, I feel like your person is saying that they can build with you. They can build with you something really sweet. Yeah, and that you deserve a lot more that you're this very loving, loving person and they want to, they, they're sorry and they want to begin again. They want to, they, they want to start again. They want a new beginning with you. So yeah, that's the tower for your person circle right now. The people who didn't know what was going on. Okay. Hope that helps. Bye.